Hello, my name is Liam Coombs, I'm the writer and director of The Two Devils. Hi, I'm Logan Bailey and I was an actor in this short film. There are also some other very important shots within this. For example, we have the POV shot at the very start, which really kind of obviously adds something, I think, to the world that you sure. kind of live a few seconds of the life of the person being interrogated. To get both sides of it. The Two Devils is a short film that I wrote and directed that was about addressing the issues of morality and good and evil. Right. Now, Logan, as you know, when we kind of filmed this, it was done very quickly because yeah. I had gone through several different ideas. This was actually become my application for university. Yeah. And a hectic shoot. Yeah, it was done in just under an hour. And the script was written in less than uh, about 20 minutes because it, we already had a pre-existing script. Well, the things considered, I think it looks really interesting. Like, you wouldn't know that was short an hour. You'd say yeah. that was probably like five hours' work, roughly. Yeah, well, no, it really does lend itself because we went there. There was all natural lighting. Mm. So everything, all the lighting you see wasn't manipulated in any way, apart from adding the filter for black and white, which kind of changed it slightly. Of course, everything was chosen very particularly. The table was chosen. I wanted, originally in the first version, if you look, the table was much shorter, whereas in this one I wanted there to be distance between the two characters at first, and then that distance would be closed. Yeah, it gets broken as well during the yeah. film as he gets closer and closer, as he gets more aggressive, as he doesn't get his answers. And that's another interesting thing, is the fact that if you look at the script, the person who's being interviewed, the terrorist, is never the one to use threatening language. He never says, I'm going to kill you. Sure. He never says that. It's always the interviewer that's saying the threatening language, yeah. right up to the point where he's actually the one that shoots him. He's the person that commits arguably the worst act that any human being can commit, which is to take another's life. I mean, to be fair, though, that terrorist was being super smug. Yes, well, that's played by Marley. He's a very good actor. Fantastic, fantastic actor. Some of the shots were, like, in the moment as well. Yeah, it was very much like, okay, this looks good, this looks nice. Mm -hmm. And one of the important things that I feel really does emphasise the black and white is the fact that this is a thing about maybe the world is not so black and white. Sure. So it's a nice sure. contradiction. I see what you mean. It's kind of like, even like a metaphorical representation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Also, it looks good. Yeah. It makes yeah, the film yeah, look good. It looks kind of nice and arty. Yeah, I see what you mean. So that, and with doing this, it's an important thing to remember that people would have gone through this. We, we may want to believe that our country's squeaky clean, but at the end of the day, we're not. Sure. You know, this is all based off real-life accusations, both against our own government and the American government. Yeah, I mean, no one's perfect. Like, like you said, there's no good or bad guys. It's all a matter of perspective. Yeah, and I, the reason why I wanted to address that was actually because of my recent love of Korean cinema, which really do that so expertly. And now you can see one of my favourite types of shots, which is the hand house. Oh, yeah, the handheld track. The Liam Coombs handheld track. Yeah. Which was my uh, idea, actually. That yes, shot. that shot was your idea. Uh, and then if you look into a lot of this, you will see... A lot of the shots are quite simplistic. It's mm. nothing too flashy. I I wanted to stay away from that because I felt like at the end of the day, the world that these people live in is kind of ordinary. So to to present it in any other way, I feel would be a betrayal. Sure, sure, yeah, it kind of take away. Mm. Those are some effect shots like that's kind of yeah. good stuff for us actually. Yeah. So basically, despite the fact that the whole film itself is in black and white, we just well, I made the decision very early on, both before we started shooting, that we would have blood effects, which is a, an addition from the previous version of the Two Devils and they would be in colour, because I felt like that would be quite eye-catching, yeah. it would be quite nice to look at. It makes it pop. It definitely makes it pop. Yeah, and I feel like this film is quite relevant as well, because it really depicts, it doesn't depict intelligence gathering as being James Bond and a suit and a fast car, it's very much in an enclosed location. Sure. And it's very much kind of like, well, this is just the day-to-day, -day because this person, most like, well, both of these people most likely have homes to go to. I've got yeah. this in both of these characters' histories written out. And hopefully, if plans go well, you will see another part to oh, this story. I haven't heard this. Okay. There is another part on its way, which will be focusing on both, it will be half, both half prequel and half sequel to this film. Oh, I like that. I like that. So you see okay. a completely different side to both okay. characters. Okay. That well, to one character, really, because the second one obviously dies. But you will see another Two Devils, but it won't be called Two Devils. It, there is a sequel to come. Well, I'm actually really excited to hear more about that. Exactly. Sure. And now, also, another important thing is this music, because it wasn't originally going to be in there. It was actually a joke at first that That's I sick. said... And Logan didn't agree that it would work, and I wanted to prove him wrong, and then we tried it, it fitted and perfectly. It, it, it worked okay, right? It worked perfectly. And that's all for me and Logan concerning the two devils, but please stay tuned to see An Unholy War, another part of the Intelligence Trilogy. Yeah, look out for that, and good things. Alright, laters.